Bits of solid matter suspended in the air. Aerosols can have a big effect on the climate and our health, but in ways we are only beginning to understand. Inside Washington University, engineers are unraveling laws of nature to better manage the most dangerous particle you've probably never heard of, PM 2.5. Find out more in this episode of Our World by Degrees. I think about visuals of dust storms. I think about when a plane is landing and you see this transition from a beautiful blue sky to this haze as we enter into that urban area. Or I think about forest fire plume that again can often have sharp boundaries. Randall Martin, a leading engineer in the aerosols field, has been collecting air pollution samples from around the world. His team is looking for concentrations of a particle known as PM2.5. It's small in size, and that's what makes it so harmful. PM2.5 refers to tiny aerosols. Aerosols smaller than two and a half microns in diameter, about one third the size of a red blood cell. Those tiny particles, they follow our breath, they penetrate deep into our lungs, all the way into the blood-air interface, where they proceed to cause a great deal of damage, including cardiovascular disease, including respiratory disease, and cancer. What's up in the air affects life on the ground. Smoke and pollution can be seen from the sky. Using data from NASA, Martin and his team are building 3D models to help people better understand air quality around the world. When we first applied those tools to the inference of PM2.5, the international interest was inspiring and motivating. Global estimates of PM2.5 that we inferred from satellite remote sensing enabled a more comprehensive assessment of PM2.5, thus contributing to the current awareness of its role as the leading environmental determinant of health and longevity. For decades, under the U.S. Clean Air Act, inhalable particles have been regulated, resulting in improved air quality in the United States. But without more accurate global models, leaders won't be able to make informed decisions and keep people safe. One particular threat of PM 2.5 comes from wildfires, which are becoming more frequent and intense. Washington University's Rajan Chakrabarti and his students study aerosols in wildfire. We are interested primarily in understanding the emissions of aerosols from wildfires. Through the help of our collaborators, we collect wildland fuels from the regions where these fires are taking place. We bring it to our laboratory and then we combust them in a specialized chamber where we change the phase of the fire conditions and then see what is the nature, what is the characteristic of the individual particles being emitted, what are their physical properties, chemical properties, optical properties. Among many discoveries, Chakrabarti's team showed that some aerosols in smoke, once thought to reflect light and cool the climate, can have the opposite effect contributing further to global warming. New knowledge improve large-scale climate models. For Chakrabarti, it's also personal. So I'm from India, you know, where pollution has been always an issue. And when I looked at the pictures of some of these particles I've been breathing in from childhood, you know, it really resonated. And then I wanted to solve the puzzle. How is it interacting? How do I characterize? And then you start really seeing the benefit of what you started off as a curiosity-driven research to actually helping out the larger community at large. Training the next generation of climate-committed students is important to both of these educators and the search for global solutions. The immense challenge of designing and implementing a global Earth observing system requires engineers. 
we can generate the facts and assist with public policy makers. But at the same time, not panic, because as humans, we have to be humble enough to understand that we understand only a small piece of the puzzle so far. And we are at the mercy of nature to unravel her laws of functioning, her intricacies, as we move forward in time. She has sustained us for a long time, so let's not lose hope on her.